tell me of a country that is rich because of borders. Oh no, that country is very successful. It's a world-class country because of a fence. They've got a fence. I said that long time ago. I said, you are acting like mad people. You have a gate, but you don't have a fence. Mm. And then you come back at your house without a fence. You open a gate to enter your yard. Mm. It doesn't make sense. What a speech from Julius Malema. Listen this. South Africans are people who are very open about everything. Mm. They would have said to me in the biggest rallies, stop that thing we are talking about. Yeah. Once I start talking about the love for Africans and how this country yeah. must unite the African continent, yeah. the whole stadium is receptive. Mm. Tell me of a country that is rich because of borders. Oh no, that country is very successful. It's a world-class country because of a fence. They've got a fence. And a fence led to success. Yeah. America has got no fence. 54 states mm. under one president, United States of America. Mm. Why are they not putting fence for themselves? Why is Europe not putting fence? If fence is a prerequisite for success, yeah. for a country to prosper, you need a fence. And even if you need a fence, there is no fence between Zimbabwe and South Africa. Mackenzie went, he showed you, there's no yeah. fence. <laughs> there's no yeah. fence in Lesotho. Actually, he thought he was exposing uh, that the, 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 these people have got no fence, they have been to. I said that long time ago, I said, you are acting like mad people. You have a gate, but you don't have a fence. Mm. And then you come back at your house without a fence. You open a gate to enter your yard. Mm. It doesn't make sense. There is no fence. Africans have moved. It yeah. is only those who are threatened by the unity of the Africans yeah. who perpetuate a message of hatred. But my last point is, why do you hate me for saying people must unite? I'm not dividing people. It seems that it, it's a becoming election issue because if you, you just have to look at what the ANC is doing in terms of the amendment of the um, uh, Migration or Immigration Act, right? Do you think they're falling into that trap, that they, they feel the noise of people uh, as anti-African sentiment or anti-foreigner sentiment, and they are now trying to fit into that, strengthen the borders, appoint the border management agency. You saw the border management agency mm -hmm. they were in full force this weekend, etc. Well, my brother, the 2019 yeah. anti-EFF campaign was dishing out title deeds. Mm. We don't want to take your land. Yeah, the title deeds. Yeah. Even people got title deeds here in Alexander. I'm like, to do what with that title deed? Yeah. Because it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. If anything, Alexander needs massive development, not title deeds. Mm. So they said that in 2019. Mm. We, we, we were unshaken about it. Mm. And we still didn't win elections. I will never engage in a political expediency. Yeah at the altar of a principle. Rather die on a principle with your boots on than to die an amuba, shapeless. This one pulls you that way, this one pulls you that way. Before we know it, you've got no shape. You are shapeless and we can't define what kind of animal is this. Yeah. I'm saying we need a borderless Africa for free movements of people and goods. And that free movement of people and goods doesn't mean undocumented. Because if I didn't want undocumented people, I would have said, don't take ID South Africans. Yeah. What are you doing with documents? All of us have to be identified. And it is documentation that will identify who we are. Even when African state is united, you still have to tell which, from which state are you. Europe without borders. They're still Italians. They're still Germans. They still uh, the British who yeah. saying they're exiting uh, that thing. So you don't believe so, in this whole thing about illegal immigration? You, you are saying that the borders must be open enough for, 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 for Africans to unite. You can't be illegal in Africa as African. Mm. Because if you follow that, all of us in this room will be in danger. Our roots come from there in the continent. Yeah. We're so all your, the whole there. hype about border management authority, you don't buy it? I don't care about that. It's, it's, a, it's a, like you said, it's a gimmick. It's an election gimmick. Yeah. They're, after that, they are going to leave it. The ANC, yeah. the ANC, none of these people, mm. except Sir Ramaphosa, mm. crossed into Africa with a passport. Mm. They didn't have any documents. Jacob Zuma, Tabo Mbegi and them, they went. 
I should, I'm, think they have soon forgotten that. And the they're, fact they're that now telling us another story. Mm. When they were there, O.R. Tambo was treated like a state president by other African states. Yeah. But do you know that Nigeria civil servants had a money deducted from their salaries a called the Liberation Fund, official from government mm. salaries to finance liberation movements in Africa, including the ANC and the PAC. Mm. So you for stand, us to be essentially liberated. The, 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 the EFF is going to stand by this principle. You are not going to be swayed by, by election mode where you people are beginning to say, be soft, be, be a little bit soft on this whole issue of open borders. Well, my brother, mm -hmm. here is the whole manifesto. Mm -hmm. You have an issue with one. Yeah. What is your problem? Who said you are going to find a perfect woman? Where? <laughs> She's so beautiful, but she might have those things of being noisy or something, but yeah. I can work on that. Yeah. So there's nothing called beautiful. Even DNA, yeah. when you test children DNA, it doesn't say 100%. It said 99,9999. On the basis of that one that is missing there, yeah. this is not my child. All right. You sound like a fool if you, a person argues like that. All right. Let's talk about the second constituency now. Yes. White people, there is a, 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 a narrative about EFF and white. Because your emphasis of as the African child, etc., mm. you've always said you're not against white people. You are for black, the black mm -hmm. child, right? Let's talk about, let's talk to Africaners today. And some yeah. of them may be listening, some of the community radio stations joining us here tonight. Right? And some are saying, hey, if Julius gets into the union buildings, you know, we are going to run for the hills. What do you say to them tonight? If you put an Englishman here mm. and put an Africaner here yeah. and make me choose, I'll choose Africaner. Why? Because you, you know what you are dealing with. You know, a racist of an note, <laughs> he doesn't pretend, yeah. he doesn't uh, create an impression that uh, we're together when we're not together. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, the other second point I like about uh, African nurses is that... Yeah. Son and daughters, king and queens, brothers and sisters in the continent of Africa and those who are in diaspora. You heard well the speech from the leader of economic freedom fighters, Julius Malema, speaking a lot of things that Africa now we should take in action. The time for action is now, and myself, I, pre I appreciate the work uh, which is going on there in West Africa to see my brothers now uh, taking control, uh, taking charge on to fulfill the needs of their countries but i hope this to see oh i need to see this in the whole continent of africa not in a certain part of africa nowadays we see in west africa let us see in the south east north central and end of the day we see it in the whole continent of africa we also needs uh, more young leaders in Africa because we believe youth may do better than elders. And this generation, we have the great role to take the resources in the hands of Africans. I mean, we to take these resources into hands of Africans. That's why we see the president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traore, building the gold refiner plant in Burkina Faso with the cooperation of Russia. This is not bad. This means that no more exploitation of goods from Burkina Faso. So anyone who needs goods from Burkina Faso will take as a final product, not as a raw material. By doing that, we will see the value of our resources, the value of our resources as continent of Africa. So let us back on the speech of Julius Malema. He speak a lot of thing, things that Africa we now need to understand and to take in action. Africa, we have these borders, and he speaks this this speech, uh, this words a lot of time that Africa let us remove these borders because by continuing worshiping these borders, we will be 
poor, 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 because these borders kept for the interest of these colonies. They sat in Berlin Conference to divide Africa for their interest, not for our interest. That's why they uh, put uh, their people in this uh, political position to uh, maintain the existence of these borders. So let us remove this. And he said there is no country in Africa which developed or in the world also which developed by crossing its borders. So you see, in order to develop, you need to collaborate with uh, others in terms of business or innovations and so many things that you need to collaborate with others. And this is uh, I think this is best because, you know, Africa, we have this uh, continental free trade area, but this will not work, will not work well in the level that we expect because Africa, we still have these borders. So on the continuation of these borders, we will not have this, uh, this um, free movement of people and goods. And this is the real aim of Africa continental free trade area. The aim is to have this free movement of people and goods. So assume now there is a conflict in Congo, how people from Tanzania go to Zambia or to, to the next uh, country through Congo, uh, next country, how can he reach there if the middle one, there's a conflict? So he can't do that business because he fear to lose his goods, or also his life. So let us uh, take in action. As I said before, what West Africa is doing now is what Africa needs to do. Let us move these uh, puppet leaders. And, uh, you know, I listened to the speech from Professor Piero Lumumba, uh, I think two or five days, two or three days ago, he said that, I mean, the speech from Dr. Rikana Chombori said, Africa, we need to select people who are real or who are know what system is. Joshua Maponga said that you can change the leader as you want, but the problem is in car. So the problem is the system. You can select the leader that you want, and when he gets there, he will find the same system which was uh, working on the outgoing president. So we need to change this system. So that's why I said, uh, she said, uh, we need to select the people who understand the system so they can change it. That's why we see Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger also. Now, nowadays, we see in Senegal, they calling for French to leave the country. This is not by uh, bad meaning. They understand that this is the only problem that we have in, in these Francophone countries. The problem is French. French is able to do anything for his for her interest, not for African interest. So brothers and sisters, I appreciate well, well, well the speech from the leader of economic freedom fighters. Once he said Africa must remove borders. And sometimes he said, if you hate me for calling Africa tonight, let be. And if you can't vote me, for calling Africa tonight, stay with your vote. So this is how you can see uh, this brother have the vision of Africa. This is Pan-Africanist ideologies. This is Pan-Africanist, Pan-Africanism spirit that the man is able even to risk his life for the sake of his people. I remember a president of Tanzania said it's better to be buried the time when I, I already tell the truth to Tanzanians. So you can see how 
some of leaders in Africa have this uh, have this what can I say this have the real love of Africa and her people so brothers and sisters let me to not talk too much also I need your opinion on this uh, message on the comment section please if you have anything expect from this please let us share and this is what we need to see in africa thanks for watching subscribe like comment and share this video more as you can thanks for watching